Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa and now to the first major conversation on the program this morning. The fuel scarcity that has bitten major cities in Nigeria hard continued for at least a 10th day despite promises by the authorities ahead of you know, government agencies responsible for the fuel supply situation of the situation abating. Now in Lagos, Abuja and other major cities, car owners are still having to queue overnight with hopes of being amongst the first of the early birds to buy petrol in the morning, while others are having to queue for several hours in the day just to get petrol in their tank. Some Nigerians have accused the petrol stations of inflating the pump price with reports of pump attendants charging extra before selling fuel to the public, further increasing their suffering. Now, yesterday, the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Melikari, tendered an apology to Nigerians over the imported adulterated fuel while appearing before the House of Representatives Committee on Downstream, which is investigating a fuel supply crisis, saying the situation, this is Melikari now, saying the situation was completely unavoidable. So there you have him refusing to take responsibility. Now, despite this long overdue apology, Nigerians are eager to see the fuel supply crisis come to an end. And the question is, when? Now, joining us to answer this and other questions, we would like to say good morning and welcome to Chinedu Ukadike, who is the Public Relations Officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria in Lagos State. Mr. Ukadike, good morning to you and thank you very much for your time. Yeah, good morning. All right. How are you? Fantastic, fantastic, and I trust you well too. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the, the day is good. All right. All right, great. Um, so, so Medicare has said that the situation is unavoidable completely, you know, refusing to take responsibility. He has, however, apologized. Finally, Nigerians are wondering when this will end, you know, because we've been hearing the situation is going to get better. Um, millions of uh, uh, liters of uh, PMS being uh, brought back into the country and stockpile being released and all that. When is this situation, this crisis going to come to an end, in your opinion? Okay, um, it's very, very unfortunate, and uh, I apologize uh, to all Nigerians for this kind of thing that has happened. And uh, we independent marketers on our own side, we are not to blame. We have said it before. We are service-oriented. I will continue to render service as far as our facilitations are open, and we have enough security to even run a 24-hour service. Uh, so if we have products available, we will continue to uh, render service to Nigerians. And these uh, issues will be uh, resolved uh, amicably. But what I'm also trying to tell you is that uh, we are sub, uh, kind of uh, uh, sub supplied because uh, uh, most of our depots, especially those in the inland depots, are not having products. All the NMTC... DPMC uh, uh, facilities don't have enough products to service our numerous uh, marketers. Marketers have thousands of uh, uh, tickets uh, hanging in all the uh, uh, NMPC uh, uh, the, uh, facilities. And up to now, um, some of these uh, tickets have not been loaded. So that's how now marketers are now being pushed to go to the private tank farm owners to buy petroleum products. And sometimes when you go to private tank farm to buy petroleum products, uh, there are, there are, okay, middlemen and all the rest of them. So we don't normally have, uh, fuel bought at, uh, the government to the price of 140, 142, 145 naira per liter. At the end of the marketers are buying petroleum products now in some private depot at 162, 165. So uh, how can this situation be uh, manageable when we cannot be able to buy products at government stipulated rate so that we can be able to sell to our consumers at a uh, regulated rate by government? You know this our business is being regulated by government and this provides by government. So some of the time farm owners are selling these products to one, at 165 China. So it is very, very important that the MGMD and MDOP should set up an intervention team so visit some of these tank farms to ensure that products are being, if the products are still there, are being pushed to the market. The trip that happened in terms of the chain of supply shows that 
We don't have reserve. If we have reserve, what would the NPC would have done instead of ordering uh, 300 million liters of fresh to uh, to use it to substitute what we are, what, what we have on ground? We would have gone to our reserve and used our reserve as an intervention to be able to ensure that the Nigerians don't suffer. Because when there is scarcity, profiteering will set in. There is no way you will see people selling on Jericals because people will use their vehicle and uh, because the business is coming lucrative for them, people will not look, uh, use their vehicles that have up to 90,000 liters, 90, 90 liters tank and also building some, also some other uh, artificial tank in their vehicle and go and queue in the filling station. And uh, they have time. They will queue in that filling station and buy products and go out and go and, 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 and put it back in Jericho and come to make uh, sharp prices and, and make a uh, little money to feed their family. So you cannot overrule that. So what I'm trying to say is that if we can be able to uh, uh, push in, the NMPG can be able to push in more products, especially to their inland depots. If, uh, you also overheard that uh, 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 yesterday in most of depot, there was even a kind of uh, protest by independent marketers whose uh, tickets and money has been lying down in the in, the, in that depot. And the NMPG want to load an other, other, other price ticket. And the marketers revolted. Uh, we have our tickets here. Why are we bringing in fresh? Load us out so that we can go and sell to our people. Okay. Uh, so, uh, 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 it's important Kedike. that there will be an intervention team yes. which is the NNPC and ITMAN as an organization okay. so that we can be able to look at all these things and be able to handle it as quickly as possible. Mr. Kedike, so, we so, so, the so, are yeah. going at least this can say we get up the next week. Mr. Ukadike, so you are saying, uh, in answering yeah, the question yeah. we asked, that uh, this uh, scarcity will last till next week. Um, I think Mela Kiari had, had also said the same thing when he appeared uh, before the House of Representatives Committee on Downstream, uh, that uh, yeah, the definitely. situation will, will, will be resolved by next week. But um, it's interesting to hear that uh, for those independent petroleum marketers, those in your committee, the, petro the petrol stations under your, your association, you're saying that you, the, what, the stock that you have now, uh, you're getting from the private tank farms, and they're selling to you at 165 naira per liter, which um, is why you, uh, your members, are selling above the, the regulated pump price. Um, you also did mention a very important thing that the NMPC should have a sort of a reserve or a stockpile that they can, you know, release if there's any danger or uh, uh, unavailability or scarcity in the economy. Uh, the NMPC has said in the past uh, yesterday, actually, um, that uh, it has over one billion naira, uh, oh sorry, one billion liters of safe PMS uh, in its stock for release nationwide. And they're saying that um, 2.3 billion liters of PMS will arrive in Nigeria between that's yesterday and the end of the month to restore sufficiency. So um, do you know about this 1 billion liters of, of PMS that the NMPC has, uh, says it has in its stock? Because they put this up on Tuesday on Twitter. Do you know about that? Well, 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 well if uh, we don't, we're, we're, don't, we're not giving access to NMPC uh, storage facility, uh, so we, uh, I will not be able to affirmatively say that uh, there is one billion, what are we spending one billion liters of, uh, of uh, PMS? Oh. When there is scarcity, if you have one billion liters, you use your mechanism, you use your pipeline, you use uh, um, some data that, uh, the vessels to distribute it as quickly as possible. So that way, the, the, the whole country will be littered with fuel. But, but they're saying, so that all this uh, nonsense will they're, stop. Yeah, they're saying that... They're, are, we, are we please... Yes. Are we pleased to be listening that we have one billion liters, one billion liters? So are we? No, but there is they're, no they're fuel, saying, as I'm talking to you now, there is yeah. no PMS in Portugal Refinery Depot. No, but what they're there saying... There is no PMS in uh, Abad Depot. Okay. There is no PMS in Marmody Depot. There is no PMS in uh, Enugu Depot. This is system two is... Uh, even if you go to the uh, Western Zone, there is... You don't talk even about the Northern Zone. But there are no uh, products. If there is uh, products, any of the marketers and uh, nuclear people are ready. So if they work for four hours to ensure that the uh, product is really tax everywhere. So it is also important that the uh, NNPC and the GMD should look at our pipeline. Because if you have a product like this, what you do, you pop, you pop through your pipeline. By 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 the time you say product will be in Yola. Product will be in Makodi. Product will be in Mosul. Because they, they, they are all designed. So if we, if we, do we go by the books that we have one billion liters, when Nigerians are still struggling to buy products at 200 naira per liter. 
Yeah, Mr. Kadike, Mr. Kadike, you, 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 yeah, Mr. Kadike, sorry to interrupt you. Our tickets are there. Some of our tickets have been there for over one month, not loaded. Okay, Mr. Kadike, uh, uh, I was just trying to to just build on what you said. Um, that you know where 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 you you actually go into the private tank farms, and the NMPC should not just tell us what is on paper. Uh, one billion liters in its stock, in its reserve. But they're saying, as as recently as Tuesday, they put out a statement saying um, that as of today, I just want to quote so it doesn't seem as if these are my words. This is what the NMPC said on its Twitter handle on Tuesday. They said, quote, as of today, that's Tuesday, NMPC has over one billion liters of certified PMS stock that is safe for use in vehicles and machinery and that they have started running 24-hour operations at their depots and fuel stations to bridge the gap in the supply chain. Now, this is what they say, quote, in order to accelerate distribution across the country, we, that's NMPC, have commenced 24-hour operations at our depots and retail outlets. So, um, um, is it that you are not aware? Is uh, it uh, uh, we have to be very, very realistic. Uh, it is not a uh, policy statement. Uh, yes, I also know that sometimes government apply policy statements to be able to uh, uh, control situation and not also allow panic buying because some of these things are caused by panic buying. So no one will come and tell you that this uh, this uh, will last the next year. So we say so people will go to go and feed their children, feed their schools, feed their public uh, uh, PMS, you know, so that they will not go out of out of stock. Uh, if NMPC have uh, billions uh, uh, of uh, petroleum products stuck in their, in their facility, um, as I'm talking to you now, there is no product in Potaco Refinery Depot. There is no product in Calabar Depot. There is no product, even there's a product in most of but they are not closing because they, they say the product is, is, uh, is small. And what they want to do is to do an intervention. And marketer said, no, load us, load us out. So if there are products, why would you have products? And you, you, uh, is there a Christmas tree? So you case, should be looking at one yeah, million uh, yeah. uh, uh, liters of uh, petroleum products. Why there are no products in their tanks? Okay, some okay. The, All right, sir. So can you please videos. can you please hold the thought? Uh, we have a report which we would um, we'll put on the air now. When we come back, we'll ask you some more questions because the NPC is saying something different uh, from what you're saying. Let's roll that report. We'll be right back. Yeah. Nigerians are still battling with the issues of insecurity, poverty, and now fuel crisis. This is the outlook of some parts of Lagos Ibadan Expressway access of Lagos State, while in a quest for an update on fuel scarcity. Lagos is known for incessant gridlock except on holidays. It is worse due to the long queues from filling stations. Motorists are saddened by the situation. The way there is first scarcity in 2017, 18, you know, 2020, when there is a lockdown, we don't know, we can't enjoy anything from government. Why? This is unforgiving for all the leaders of Nigeria. We're talking about a nation over 200 million without a refinery. We probably have to go back to the likes of Qatar, to the likes of Dubai. Nations that are on their news in the early 70s, late 70s, even early 80s, begging us. I hope the people here will listen, the people who distribute the fuel, and at least they will do the needful. We don't have to make life difficult for each other. I think they can do better. In his office, the chairman of the Lagos Zonal Council of National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Nupeng, Tayo Abuyeji, hinted about a glimpse of hope. As such today, all the depots have been loading the right products. Petroleum tanker driver have been working 24 hours to make sure that this fuel is distributed across Nigeria. The Ipman, the IMB, everybody is working around the clock to make sure that this product gets to the stations and the queue disappear. And I can tell you the next couple of three for this, the queue will disappear. Because there are enough uh, uh, products in the depot. He condemned the importation of the adulterated fuel into the country, the beginning of the fuel crisis. We should make sure that we give 
we make our government accountable. The question is, why would somebody bring uh, let me call it adulterated product or whatever they want to call it. Secondly, why are we even importing petroleum products when we have four refineries that are supposed to work and feed Nigeria? So it's absurd. Kano State has its share of fuel scarcity. While some motorists are lucky to get petrol for either 165 or 200 naira per liter without having to queue for long hours in some petrol stations, others complained of having to spend more hours at the stations. So I have to just fill my tank there for 200 naira per liter. As a, so up till now, there are still queues in filling stations and uh, people are finding it very, very difficult to access uh, petrol. So actually, the first instance we started with is batting, is batting us harder. Because as a few, last week, we don't get this kind of thing. Because for the past five days, we have been suffering a lot to get food. Even as I know, my tank is almost empty. So I just pray God that the situation will calm down. In petrol stations, a liter of fuel is sold at 165 naira per liter. But in the black market, they sell a 5 liter gallon of fuel for 1,200 or 1,300 since fuel is now scarce. Also, Nigerians in Abuja are trying to cope with a week long shortage of petrol as Africa's biggest economy struggles to end crippling fuel shortages. Today, I couldn't make anything. Yesterday, today, I'm here. And my family are suffering one way or the other. It definitely affects all of my plans. It affects even my health. You know, but what do I do? I have no choice than to go through the hazards. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa. All right, Mr. Ukadike, can, can you hear us? Uh, and that's a report uh, on the situation from our uh, correspondent. Hello, sir. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so yeah. listen, one of the, the respondents there yeah, was a new Peng official who said mm -hmm. as at the time that report was made that the depots were loading and that all the, the people in the supply chain, including IBMA members who are the marketers, are getting the, the product. This is a new Peng official. So how can you therefore now say that the depots are not loading? And hence you're having to buy from the private tank farms and then you have to now sell above pump price. I want to I want to clarify a, a, an issue here. Uh, maybe you got it wrongly. There are what we call inland depots of PPMC. These uh, uh, depots are managed by PPMC. There is no private depot tank owner, but it is facilities owned by PPMC and NPC. And most of our independent marketers are docile in that, uh, domicile in that, uh, uh PPMC depots. And, uh, our tickets are also there. And uh, as I'm telling to you, I have mentioned the names of these depots and where they are located. And as I'm talking to you right now, they are not loading. Okay, you, you talked about Calabar and some other places. What about Lagos and Abuja? There is no, there is no uh, depot in, 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 in Abuja. What about Lagos? There are PDOs in Lagos. There are private uh, tank farm owners in Lagos. And what? there's numerous. Is there, is there no there, NMPC it, loading point in Lagos? There are there are NMPC uh, videos in Lagos too. Uh, are your members are your members you, loading uh, from those those um, loading points? The NMPC PPR, PPMC let's, loading let's, points. Let's, let's, let's say now, like I I make I make my example in most meat depot. Is it not in Lagos? I said most meat depot. There is a little product left in most meat depot. I'm as I'm talking to you now, they are not loading so, because there is a lockdown between marketers who have tickets in that in that in that. Uh, uh, depot and the uh, NMPC uh, uh, management. So, 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 so how come how come we hear it from? Yeah, how come we hear it from a new Peng official that all the NMPC depots he can confirm are loading? The NMPC has put out a statement saying they're releasing one billion 
liters from their, their, their reserve, and that the major oil marketers uh, association of Nigeria, MOMAN, your sister organization, um, uh, IPMAN, depot owners, um, Petroleum Products Marketers Association of Nigeria, they are all, they've commenced 24 hour loading as, as recently as Tuesday. Uh, listen, uh, it's relating properly to the Lupeng Zona chairman who made statement. He said, if man and IMD and other stakeholders, we are ready to work in our depots 24 hours to ensure that we litter the nation with petroleum products. But as I'm also letting you know, I'm telling you, depots that don't have products, if the depots are, are having products, you will confirm. But as, I'm, as, a, as, a, as a spokesman of it, man, I'm telling you that this the depots don't have products. So, so Nigerians will continue to, to pay above pump price till when next week, do you, do you suspect? Very quickly, please. Well, uh, like I said before, with the efforts of government and uh, uh, policies of government of saying they have one billion liters, I said when the contaminated soil entered this country, you also heard the NMPC saying that they have imported 300 million liters to be able to abate the crisis. Are you not seeing the capacity in this in this uh, statement? And now we have one billion liters in reserve. So if there are these products, I don't think we should have experienced all these uh, issues. Because if there are products, we marketers we want to load. We can want to go to work. Everybody wants to go to work. So whatever that is the bottleneck of not releasing this uh, product to depots, an NPC should do that. All right. All right, Uche Okadike is the public relations officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association. Thank you very much uh, for your Thank time. You, Thank you very much for your time. Well, it remains to be seen when the situation will come to an end. Uh, the marketers uh, have uh, the business of um, dispensing the fuel to the public, and that's the side they're responsible for. He's done his best to give us a picture of the situation at the end. Um, battle for the soul of uh, the APC in Oshun State. We'll talk to members of the All Progressives Congress up next right here on The Breakfast. Please stay with us.